Hi everyone. Just uh, going to give an update on my 60 Minutes interview that we've been waiting for, or I've been waiting for, since last September when I went to the National Institute of Health. It's finally going to be aired this Sunday, May 20th at 7 p.m. on uh, CBS. And I'll um, put the link down below for the uh, website and just refresh the home page to get the updated um, programming. Um, anyway, it's a two-hour special and their end-of-the-year special. And I guess my segment should be in the first hour, and it's on the Undiagnosed Diseases Program. And um, besides that, um, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news, well, actually, there's more good news, but the bad news is my dad's um, passing away right now, so um, he's uh, he's actually doing okay. He's just at hospice in his home. He's um, had cancer for a long time and just actually um, get a die from a bowel obstruction, so it's nothing that's going to happen, like, really quick, but when that obstruction happens, it'll probably be really quick, but he's uh, just kind of hanging out. And I, uh, my family bought a, my sister bought a short bus from the school district with a wheelchair lift, and she painted it white, and it's really cool, and it's got a wheelchair, you know, spot in the back, and my sisters picked me up, and they took me down to my dad's place. He, he lives right on the Chehalis River, and he has a big, huge spread, and it's kind of like a park, and I could cruise all around the yard in the, um, like a little golf cart, and I was just high on life because I, you know, I haven't been working my ass off this last, last six months, um, dealing with quite a bit of issues of trying to remain independent. Um, I had to um, deal with a lot with the state of Washington and my home care and, um, some logistical issues that I will maybe go do a video on a little bit later. But anyway, uh, the good news is, another good news is my Botox treatment is finally working for almost about a year that I've been trying to get the dose right. And I haven't had a muscle spasm in about six weeks. And they did about 400 cc's of Botox in my back and my my um, buttocks and my hips and my legs and, and you know like 10 times you know it don't hurt the injections are nothing compared to the muscle spasm so you know I was spazzing when the the needle goes in and they have a microphone that tries to detect the um, disturbance and it's got a it's all hooked up to a computer and my muscles are just going freaking haywire, and so then that's when he knows that you know he can get get the Botox in there, and yeah, you know, it's been a lifesaver. I've been sleeping, um, you know, I get up a few times a night because my caregiver leaves at five in the morning, but I've been you know sleeping more than I have in about ten years. Um, it's like my life is really turning taken a turn and this last six months has been hell for me. The weather has been beautiful here. It's been like in the 70 and 80 all week. So my brother came up from California and with a new baby and you know it just for me it was like yeah a dream come true because basically I've been to Costco twice since last summer. Except, you know, despite going back and forth to the frickin' hospital, I, you know, got my hair done a few times, but, you know, I'm busy working and doing case management for um, myself. Um, that's part of one of the problems I'm having with the home care, and it's kind of complex, and, you know, I had to hire a lawyer, and it's continuing, everything's not done deal yet so anyway I hope you guys are able to watch the program or you know watch it on the computer 
and you know I didn't talk much about it this last six months because they wanted to really keep kind of quiet but they've done an excellent job of following with me they know it's the producers know everything that's going on with me and everything that I you know, Laura Logan was the gal that did the interview and she's a correspondent with CBS uh, war reporter and she had some you know a tremendous things to say about me she introduced me to um, the publishing company Simon and Schuster and um, in talking with them about writing a book so it's just my life is really the long fight struggle you know I've been going through for a long long time I have a feeling it's about to change so despite you know this disease that sucks oh by the way um, the other day I had a Doppler ultrasound on my legs um, just to make sure I didn't have a blood clot or any vein problems and my veins were totally normal on my legs so uh, no vein problem there but um, I definitely have vein problem in my eye my eye doctor said the veins going into my optic nerve are practically not even putting any blood through them and he had to give me these eye drops that like twist the blood cells up into little twisty donuts so I can squeeze through and I'm blind in my left eye and anyway you guys might learn a lot about me if you watch the 60 minutes program and they came to my house in January and did some filming so I'm not exactly sure exactly what the whole piece is going to be like um, you know they did some extensive research with me but you know I know it's going to be kind of a significant piece but it'll be on the undiagnosed diseases program too and so it's a 12 minute segment so you know how they kind of cut everything together and anyway um, this you know has just been the biggest reward for me because I've been I've been fighting with this disease since I was 17 years old and you know it puts me in the realm of possible um, treatments or cures um, going to the undiagnosed disease programs like winning the lottery in the medical field and anyway I don't know how long the video is going so I better stop now um, talk to everybody soon bye